All right, y'all. So today I'm going to be giving five players you should trade before their value is too low and five players to trade for before their value is too high in fantasy football to help you win your leagues. All right, so the first player we've got to trade away is Nick Chubb. He was a pretty good running back last year. Had the second most rushing yards in the NFL. But this year, after watching the Browns game, looked like Kareem Hunt was going to be the main back, so Nick Chubb will have a lot less value. And in a couple of weeks when people figure that out, you're not going to want to be sitting on him as a second or third running back with nobody to trade. When right now you could trade him as an RB1 where a lot of people would want him. So he had less carries than Kareem Hunt and average less yards. And if you watch the old Chiefs teams, you know how good Kareem Hunt is. He can score a touchdown on any play, break a two-yard run to a 50-yard. He's a very good pass catcher as well. And Nick Chubb's not as good a pass catcher and only a good red zone back compared to Kareem Hunt. So if you think he'll still have value getting the goal line touches, then he could be a decent second running back, but with how high he is ranked right now, if you trade him now, you could still get good value. So the second player we've got on this list is Chris Carson. So if y'all been watching the fantasy, y'all probably saw he had a real good week one, got 20 points. But if you look deeper into that game, they were up by a lot, so you'd expect him to pound it with their power running back and chew clock. But instead, they gave it, they kept passing and gave it to Carlos Hyde. So, Chris Carson didn't even have the most carries on the team, and he's a power back. So, you want him to get more carries, because you know probably he's not going to be repeating two touchdowns in the receiving game again. So, I wouldn't bank on him, because that was all in receiving game and touchdowns, So, which he rarely ever does good in, or at least in the receiving game. So I wouldn't bank on him. I'd trade him while his value's high after that 20-point game. All right, so number three. On this one, I think I'm going to go with Mike Evans because, you know, he he ha- didn't have as good of a year last year with Chris Goblin taking most of the receptions. And, to de- and against the Saints, it just wasn't as good. You know, the Saints are a great team, but he was targeted like the third most and the Bucks ran the ball a ton, so he's just not going to be getting as many targets. Not going to be, not going to be on the field as much with how much depth they have with Gronk, O.J. Howard, Chris Goblin, and Fournette. So it's just going to be harder for him to get on the field. And when he does, they're going to have a lot of other targets. And he likes it, though, to that other receiver they have. I think his name is, like, Anthony Miller. Tom Brady threw it to him a lot. So I wouldn't bank on Mike Evans. I'd trade him just because a lot of people would take him just for his name. So the next player on this list at number four is James Conner. I watched that game, and even before he got injured, he didn't look very explosive at all. He did not look near as good as Benny Snell. Um, he also got injured, so that's just going to make that probably even worse. Might miss a couple games, and he's probably going to get even less explosive. And just I don't think this is going to be a good year for James Conner. I had him two years ago. He was great, and just ever since, hasn't looked like he's the same player. And he is the fourth player that I would trade away now before you can't get anything for him. So the last player on this list is going to go to Philip Lindsay. You know, you still might be able to get an okay player out of him to help you out, give you some depth, depth, or maybe even a solid tight end or something, maybe a flex option. But after the injury and Melvin Gordon looked real good against the Titans, I watched that whole game, got a touchdown, got some good yardage at the end. And Philip Lindsay did look good, but... I think Melvin Gordon's going to go and earn that spot while he's in there. So I'd trade him early right now. Don't wait too long because if you wait too long, Melvin Gordon could be one of the top five running backs in the league, and Phillip Lindsay's completely forgotten about. So I'd get him away now, get some value out of him, and just move on from there. 
All right, y'all. So we got the five, the top five players I think you should trade away right now. So now we're going to get into top five players you need to get. These players could help you win your league, get you a lot of extra points, and could be determining factors in a lot of games. All right. So the first player on this list I've got is Malcolm Brown. This guy, so if you know the Rams, they do a lot better when they're running the ball efficiently. So they're going to try to run it with him, and they ran it with him a lot against the Cowboys, and he did not disappoint. Had a really good game, got in the end zone, and showed how good he was. So I think with Todd Gurley leaving, he's going to get a lot more carries, not going to have to split them, and he's going to get all the goal line carries pretty much. There's going to be a touchdown machine, and they're going to try to use him to set up the pass game. So they're going to use him a lot early, and if they get ahead, they'll keep using him to choose some clock. So he just should always be having good games. And he, you don't even have to trade for him in most leagues because in a lot of leagues he was not rostered. Like in all of my leagues, I've picked him up, and I advise to pick him up too. could be the sleeper of the year. All right, so how I mentioned with the Nick Chubb trade, how you need to get him off your team. With that, I think you should get Kareem Hunt on your team before he's known as a top running back, just like I think Melvin Gordon has a chance to. So with Kareem Hunt, the Browns have Kevin Stefanski as their head coach who likes to run the ball a lot, like what he did with Dalvin Cook. The Vikings ran the ball more than any team last year, and I think with Kareem Hunt, and Nick Chubb, but mainly Kareem Hunt, that's what they're going to try to do. And Kareem Hunt had 13 carries for 73 yards last week. And as he keeps doing better, they're going to start giving the, him the ball more and more. And he had a good game last week and didn't get in the end zone and didn't do very much in the passing game. And he is a very good pass catcher and usually scores a ton of touchdowns. So as that starts getting better, which it, I can almost guarantee you will, He'll be getting 16 points, even if he doesn't move up in the depth chart above Nick Chubb. But when he does, he's going to be averaging 20 to 25 points a game, if not better. So I strongly advise you pick him up. He could be one of the best running backs, just like he was with Kansas City. So the next player we got on this list, first quarterback of the video, and going to be the only one, is Kyler Murray. This guy is an absolute beast. He went up against the 49ers defense, best defense in the NFL, and arguably one of the best defenses in a long time, and he balled out. Throwing a lot of touchdowns, making the 49ers look like an average defense. And with adding DeAndre Hopkins, it's just going to be unfair with him. He can run, throw, everything. He's going to get a ton of points off the run game, and throwing DeAndre Hopkins is just going to be too easy. He's going to get a ton of touchdowns with him. Tony Yard is, and he's also got veteran receiver Larry Fitzgerald. He's got Christian Kirk, who is very underrated. And he's got a good running back, Kenyon Drake, who he can throw out of the backfield to. So I think he's set up for a good year and is probably going to win a lot of people in their leagues. I picked him in almost all of my leagues. And I've never not been top four in one of my leagues. So my picks have usually worked out pretty good. And Kyler Murray was my breakout player of the year, so I think you should pick him up now. So the next player we've got on this list coming in at number four is Benny Snell out of Kentucky. The young running back and was very explosive in the last game, was better than James Conner for the slight time James Conner was in. And then when he got injured, he got the ball a lot and kept showing it and kept showing how good he was. So, pick him up off waivers. I think he could be a good flex option and maybe even an RB2. So, I think it would be smart to pick him up if he's still available. So, he's going to be the starting running back for the Steelers for a long, for probably a lot of the year this year. So, it's my fourth player. So, the last player that I'm going to say you try to pick up is already a pretty established player, but I think... Anything you can get for him would be good. So right here I've got Alvin Kamara. Y'all will probably know him really good. But what I saw from the Saints game is Drew Brees starting to lose the arm a little bit. Can't throw it as far. 
who's going to be re relying a lot on Alvin Kamara, throwing a lot of check down to him, giving him the ball a lot. It's going to be right back to where he was the year he broke out. Had him in that year, and he helped me out a lot, helped me win a league. And I think he's going to go right back to where he was then. So I think you should pick him or trade for him, give a lot for him. I think in two or three weeks from now, he might be the best running back in the league. I think you might be trying to... I think he might be better than McCaffrey. Might be trading McCaffrey for him. It, I mean, it is a possibility because McCaffrey didn't have the greatest game. And Alvin Kamara looked really good to me. I'm trying to get him in all of my leagues. He's the main player I want right now. And it's going to be hard to get him. But if you think you can, I'd almost give up anything for him. All right, y'all. Thanks for watching. Tell me who you think I missed out on that should have been on this list. And tell me who you think I was wrong on. It's going to have a breakout year. Hope this video helped you out and can help you win your leagues. And bye.